Hello, and welcome back to Normal Guy Games. Today, I would like to talk about box art. When talking to people who are thinking about picking up mini miniature painting and um, stepping into the hobby, a big thing that comes up is quality, right? So let's let's look here at this at this box art, right? These are the Exalted Sorcerers. This is the, the Exalted Sorcerer box for the Thousand Suns. And I have them as part of my primary army. So do my Exalted Sorcerers look like that? Nah. Now, does a part of me want them to look like that? Absolutely. But it's not realistic for every single model in your in your army or your arsenal, as it were, to uh, be to the highest quality standard there is. The thing is, when you're first starting out painting, you have to remember that you have to start somewhere. One of the biggest things that I see when I talk to someone who's trying to pick up painting is they have that feeling that they're of being daunted over box art. And the thing that you have to remember is the box art is painted by people who do this for a living. These people go to work and what they do is they paint display models. That is their, that is their job. They have the luxury and the ability to spend, you know, hundreds of hours on perfecting models for a display box. And that's not realistic for painting an army you know you you can't really have that same quality of of uh, miniature for every single model in your army so what's the solution then right so you do want everything to look nice everybody wants that wants their models to look nice. well okay i say everybody but um as a matter of fact funny enough uh, just recently on trapped under plastic they were talking about different the different types of painters and the different types of people who do the painting and modeling and whatnot and yeah there are some people who really don't care and they'll play with gray plastic because you know it's it's simple and it's easy the majority of us however we want models that are painted at least to a semi-decent quality standard but the thing is you can't let that paralysis get to you you can't look at the box art and go hi i'm never going to do this. It's never going to reach that level. Well, if you try, you can reach that level. But one thing you'll soon realize is that you cannot and probably will not paint every model in your army to that standard. The point of the exercise here is to pick up the brush, dab it in some water, you know, get a little bit of paint loaded up, and you roll with it. You know, put a couple of coats of paint on a model and just get out there and try it. You'll never know how good you can be until you give it a shot. And the thing is, a lot of the time, the people that are in, like if you have a group or a community, they will be very supportive of whatever efforts you make because you're making an effort. You're doing a thing. You're, you're doing the thing, as I like to say, do it, do the thing. But you know, you can't let that box art and the thought of not being able to reach that level on your first model stop you from trying and stop you from starting. I've, I've met several people locally that, that said to me, you know, I would definitely love to do more miniature painting, but I just, I don't feel like I can paint to the standard that everyone will, you know, enjoy. Who cares? Who cares? I've seen people that have come to tournaments with gray plastic, and I've seen people that come to tournaments with, you know, the bare minimum three colors, or and I've seen also seen people that have either A, commissioned someone to paint their, their army, or they have painted their army themselves, and it's beautiful. And there are some that it's, it, it's passable, but the thing is, they're trying. So, you know, if you look at uh, for instance, Armin, right? I just finished Armin in uh, December and I put together my end of year video with Armin in mind. So the thing is, I spent probably a good, I don't know, 
several weeks painting Armin, anywhere between two hours to 10 hours a day, just painting and changing and highlighting and you know going back and going over things and washing and highlighting and bringing color back and, and doing other things i spent a lot of time in arm and i i really tried to put my best effort into it because armin is going to be my display model and that is what you normally want to do is if you want to put the effort in put the effort into the model that is going to be kind of the centerpiece of your army right and for me armin is going to be the centerpiece of my army so i put a lot of effort into him you know i made sure to to do my very best is it golden demon quality absolutely not but am i happy with it i damn straight am i'm very happy with it i did my best and i tried my best and i like it so the, the thing is, like, you, you can't let the, the daunting thoughts of I'll never reach that box art level stop you from painting, from, from trying, from doing. Do the thing. Paint the model. Who cares if it doesn't look like the box art? That is unrealistic. It really is. The box art on Warhammer, on the, on the Warhammer stuff, is unrealistic. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. But it's very, very out of reach for every single model to be painted that way. And you can't think that way and you can't stop yourself like that. You know, and there are several ways that you can that you can supplement your painting and make it go quicker and make it make it look good still. You know, there's there's slap chop, there's contrast, you know, there's even the traditional method, you can you can throw some paint, a base coat and a highlight onto a model and throw a wash on there and you're good to go. I mean, I've got so many projects here lined up and ready to go sitting on my desk. And that part is definitely daunting. I'm not going to lie, the, the amount of projects, if, if you start letting them pile up like I have. So what am I going to do about it? I have a lot of projects going on. I have a lot of stuff on my, on my desk that needs to be painted. Well, I'm going to knock some of them out quick and dirty. And let me show you what I mean. So this is going to be for a video that I have uh, in the queue right now. And it's a quick and dirty, simple video that uh, we'll see soon. But I painted up some Army of the Dead from Lord of the Rings. We'll, we'll get to that later, but let's continue on. And then there are going to be others like these guys. So these guys should be familiar to you if you watch my channel. These are the um, Farstalker Kinman that I painted for Kill Team. I think they turned out pretty good. I spent a little bit of effort on all of them. So get out there and seriously, Get your practice in, get a paintbrush in hand, put paint on that model, prime it first, prime it first, but get paint on that model and just do it, you know, just do it. Why not? Why not give it a shot? Give it a try. You never know till you try. Anyway, I appreciate everybody who's been watching. Thank you very much and I'll see you for the next video.